Today we are honored to have with us the Iranian Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs for Europe and the Americas, Mr. Majid Ravanchi. Uh, it's a pleasure and uh, I would like to ask you first about the nuclear deal and uh, you believe that the nuclear deal is a ray of hope in a region in turmoil. Could you please elaborate a bit more? Thank you very much. Uh, we believe that the nuclear deal is, is something that uh, everybody should be happy that we have reached that deal because of the fact that uh, uh, we are uh, living in a very dangerous world uh, where you have wars, you have uh, terrorist activities and uh, by the nuclear deal all of our attention uh, will now be uh, you know, devoted to uh, working with, with others for the betterment of our region, for uh, the betterment of world affairs and Iran is ready to do its share when we reach a win-win situation for, for our nuclear program uh, where both sides, both Iran and uh, its interlocutors can claim victory for this deal. I think that should give us a hope that uh, uh, the new situation will, will come up uh, to deal with, with other instances uh, of, of troubles that uh, we are facing uh, in the world, particularly in the Middle East. Uh, what are, in, in your opinion, some of the regional consequences of the nuclear deal, both in the short term and in the medium term? Uh, as I said, uh, we can devote our attention to the problems that we have in, in, the, in, in, the, in the region. For instance, the region is, uh, is suffering very much from the acts of uh, terrorism and extremism. So it is incumbent upon all the countries in the region to work together uh, to find uh, ways to uh, defeat uh, terrorism. Terrorism is not uh, only uh, affecting one country. It is not directed against only one country. The whole world is being affected by, by, by terrorism. Therefore, as far as the region is concerned, we believe that all countries in the region and beyond should work together to, to uh, to fight terrorism. There are other issues, there are other wars in our neighborhood, unfortunately. We need also to work with other countries in the region uh, to, to find ways, amicable ways uh, for, for, uh, for these uh, crises. We have so many things to do with, with our neighbors. We have the same destiny, we have the same history, and we think that it is in our interest, it, it is in their interest to work together for the betterment of uh, our uh, future. Um, how would you describe, uh, Mr. Deputy Minister, the current state of bilateral relations between Iran and Spain, and how can they be improved? Spain is, is an important country for Iran. Is, uh, Spain is a friendly country for Iran. We have always enjoyed good relations with, with Spain throughout the years. Unfortunately, due to sanctions, which we consider as, as uh, unjust sanctions, uh, economic uh, relations between Iran and Spain uh, have been affected. Now with the sanctions gone, with the uh, lifting of sanctions, uh, we will see opportunities in different fields which uh, are related to economic interaction between Iran and Spain. Uh, in the energy sector, in, in, in other sectors, agriculture, uh, renewable energy, in many areas, uh, Iran and Spain uh, can work in the tourism industry as well. Uh, we believe that Iran and Spain can work together. We uh, want to have more investments in Iran, more transfer of technology in Iran. And we think that uh, the market in, in Iran, as well as the market in the region, are, are sound uh, market or reasons for others to come forward and, and join us in the development of our neighborhood. Let's hope so. Uh, thank you very much for your thank time, you. uh, Mr. Deputy Minister, and uh, we hope to see you again at the Cano Royal Institute. That will be my pleasure. Thank you.